Spiral membrane systems can vary greatly in design, controls, and complexity, but proper startup is essential to the successful operation of all systems. This tutorial video will demonstrate some important best practices during system startup of a manually operated system to help end users get the most out of their membrane equipment life and performance. For the purposes of this video, we will assume that the membrane system has already been installed and leak tested. We will also assume that the elements and pre-filters have been properly installed prior to the startup. Before starting up the membrane system, you will need to check all pumps for proper rotation. If a pump motor is wired incorrectly, the pump impeller may be spinning in the opposite direction and you will not be able to achieve the required flow and pressure for membrane operation. Before you begin, make sure that the system has had the proper electrical installation performed by a certified electrician. To check the pump rotation, turn the pump motor on for just a second and then quickly turn it off. Observe the rotation of the pump impeller and if it is spinning backwards, have your certified electrician switch the wires to the pump motor. Repeat and confirm that the pump is rotating in the proper direction. All spiral wound membrane elements must have the proper pre-filtration to remove particulate matter that can damage or plug up the membranes. Ensure that the bag filters or cartridge filters are installed correctly prior to startup. For more information on how to properly change bag filters, see our changing bag filters video. Now that we are ready to continue, open all feed valves to the system. Next, open the concentrate flow adjustment valve fully open. Direct the concentrate and permeate lines to drain with flexible hosing. Before running a process fluid, it is best to first test the system on clean water to ensure that all of the individual components are functioning properly. All cinder filtration systems are thoroughly cleaned as part of the final factory acceptance testing. But flushing the system once more at startup is a good practice to ensure that any residual debris or metal fines are removed. You are now ready to turn the system on. Allow the system to fill the water until all the air has been thoroughly purged from the system, either to atmosphere through the process tank or by using a vent valve if available. You have now primed the system. Now set the pump throttling valve to one half open. You will then turn set the concentrate and recycle valves to one half open. This will allow for a soft start when we fire the system online. You never want to start the system on with all concentrate and recycle valves fully open because you can water hammer the elements and cause physical damage. Now you are ready to restart the system and adjust the pump, recycle, concentrate pressure, and flow rates. Refer to your operating manual or consult with Cinder Filtration's technical support team if necessary. After running for about 15 minutes, readjust the valves if needed. During the initial startup, it is typical to experience some alarm conditions. These may result from system parameters not yet being adjusted properly or other causes. Address each alarm condition one at a time and consult with Cinder's technician support staff if needed. Once all alarm conditions have been addressed, the final step in system startup is to continue running the system for 30 to 60 minutes in order to flush the preservatives from the membranes. You are now ready to run the process fluid on your membrane system. We hope this tutorial video was informative for you and we thank you for your attention. Please feel free to call or email us anytime if you have any questions. We look forward to serving you.